It start as always week four, and Timothy is back in the commentary box. It's lovely to be back with you guys. It's week four. It's a Stan James.com Chester Cup. It's a big field. The favorite, Dimension of Time, six to one favorite. He's looking a hot pot favorite to win. Forshan Drift right up there. That's eight to one. Fiddlers at age, ten to one. Granite, fourteen to one. And Lucky Rebecca, eighteen. 8 to 1, should I say. 17 runners line up for this big field. The starters got them off in a straight line, ready to go. They sent on their way off. They go. South African Gold got a flyer right up there in the early Vanguard. Rolfi Nook is up there. Dimension of Time, the favorite, is a cruising speed at this moment, catching a, a ride in the fourth place. Then you can find Alt Half up there underground, and then you can find Melancholy Cove is up there in the hunt. That's in the white. Six lengths off them as they head into that first turn. A lot of them running out quite wide. Is going to need to use up a lot of energy to settle into a nice spot. There's 15 and a half furlongs left to go. And Rolfie Nook, the grey, sets the field alight by four lengths in second. Coronel's in second. Then you can find Quick Fire Maria. South African Gold in the all yellow is back in fourth. Just getting a niggle along there. Then comes in the the hunt. Althoff is up there. Lucky Rebecca in the all purple. Althoff you can find further back with Granite. Fiddle is at age. Then Dimension of Time. The favorite dropped down in the middle of the pack. He's traveling quite well. Just um, on one's heels there. Just dropping out a, another two places or so. Then you can find Underground, Top Cump and Melancholy Cove. A second to last with Black Callium at the back of the field. So 12 and a half furlongs left to go. Rolfi Nook. He's in front. Lucky Rebecca just about pokes his head in front there from Kalan and then you can find South African Gold traveling well is the Yellow Sulks then Granite Dimension of Time the favorite he has about eight lengths to find on top of them further back underground that's the gray and then Melancholy Cove is now dropped out to the stone cold last position and they have about ten and a half furlongs left to go not much change in the order as Rolfi Nook really sets the field alight he's only two lengths in front now Lucky Rebecca starting to make that move upwards then you can find Quick Fire Maria Coronalian is back in fourth. Then you can find South African Gold Dimension of Time is up there in the hunt. Also up there, having a good rail run is in the hunt, looking to get a bit closer. South African Gold now getting a squeeze um, on that one's heels. And on the inside, that is Alan Cat Craig is now starting to really feel the squeeze from the jockey there. As they now the field just starts to really wrap up and you can throw a blanket around the melancholy cove. Also from Stone Cold Lost has made up four positions now. And that one's starting to move up slowly and steadily. In the hunt as well, making a move. Fiddlers at age, second to last. Seven furlongs left to go. Ralph Nook, the jockey, just looks behind him. He sees he has a distance of four lengths. Back in second, Lucky Rebecca, Quick Fire Maria is up there. Now South African Gold, the Yellow Sulks, you can see he's moving up to third place now. Starting to come around them quite strongly, five and a half to go. Ralph and Nick traveling comfortably. Now it's a race for second as they start to really get into them. Dimensions of Time, the favorite, he's settling off them um, about six lengths. Cruising at this stage is Forshan Drift, Ellen Cat Craig also looking very well. And from the back of the field, Melancholy Cove is making up a lot of ground. Look at the number five. Melancholy Cove now is starting to wind and grind into second place from Stone Cold Last. Three and a half furlongs left to go. Rolfi Nook. Melanie Cove is now starting to run second. The favorite's also feeling the squeeze. Up and then you can find Lucky Rebecca. South African Gold in the hunt is looking to get closer. There's two and a half furlongs left to go. Melancholy Cove now says, Come on. Dimension of time. The favorite is keeping him at hard work. The front leader, Rolfi Nook, looks like he's on empty on the tank. He's going backwards now in the hunt is looking to quicken up on the outside but melancholy cove is not playing around today there's one furlong left to go he stretches clear by five lengths in the hunt looks the biggest danger running on nicely quick fire maria is up there as well but it's melancholy cove is in front in the hunt is closing the gap with each and every stride but melancholy cove will win in the hunt second alan Gant, craig and um, cracker quick fire maria as well What a race, and some going to have a lot to say about this horse. 
Melancholy Cove, 66 to 1. If that's not mistaken, that's Leon in the hunt second. Alan Cat Craig third, and then Quickfire Maria, Fortune Drift, Rolfie Nook, and it's Leon van Rensburg who will get the winner. Look at that position. He was 14th. Um, and he really, really reeled them in each and every stride. This is a cracker of a horse in the making. Watch out for Melon. Colony Cove will win the StanJames.com Chester Cup.